doar som. <laughs> Pak in the southern aid. Das Testdach of Basilia Trick was supposed to provide the test line. It didn't happen. Since then, they, were, they have been saying, next year, next year, they will provide a test line. Later. Last month, David Space, founder of Basin Galactic, Richard Branson, takes his call finally. So, hello everyone, I'm Naomi Kurahara, founder and CEO of Infosiva. Infosiva is a space startup company. So, Richard Branson and I are very different in nationality, age, gender career, financial status, but we have something in common. We are making something impossible possible. Imposter is a space star company. We provide a drum segment as a service. We connect us and space to empower the future. Until recently, almost all space technology was used for governments and countries to compete with other countries. Now we see more people and the company want to use space technology. So we support society in using space technology to improve people's everyday lives. We are working in space. We are working uh, in space industry. That's cool, right? We are cool. Chris Imasi, you may go to space sometimes. You may use a Twitter. You need a uh, communication files between uh, us and the uh, space. So we provide the communication files. We started in Costilla in 2016. Actually, we had a lot of challenges. Getting attention and the media coverage was exciting and grammar part of entrepreneurship. But actually, we had more difficulties than successes. Personally, as my as a CEO, I also had a lot of challenges. I don't have uh, time to talk all of my challenges today, but let me share some of my stories. First of all, after four months, I started, we started in Postella. I found that I was pregnant. During that time, we were in the middle of a building, product development, and also fundraising. During the first few days, I was just scared. I didn't want to lose my baby, but I also, I didn't want to give up my CEO role at Infosta. I was scared someone would tell me uh, I should give up my CEO role. I should give CEO role to someone else. Many thoughts, worries, fear. I finally told to my co-founders. They told me they would support me to be in both a mother and a CEO. I also told, told to investors they were also supportive. And they gave me some advice on juggling both roles. So in the end, no one told me that I should give up, I should give up my CEO role. So my fears were unfounded. All I have to do is think about what I want to do, what I should do, and then actually try to do it. But can you try something? Failure is inevitable. I had a lot of failure. For example, the, when we were doing Series A round fundraising, the, and the, at the very first meeting with the leading star of Series A round, I had to bring my baby. We were asking $3 million to leave the In the middle of presentation, for my ceiling on the house, my baby, my baby suddenly started to cry and <laughs> I failed to focus on my presentation. Fortunately, the investor decided to invest in us. So I had a lot of failures. However, when I look back at those days, 
and almost in tears. And not because of how hard it was, because so many people helped me and they looked up. Thanks to those people, I was able to have my voice being a mother and being a CEO. I always wonder what is the most important thing as a CEO. There, there could be many answers, but for InfoStar and also startup and space startup company, I believe this is the most important thing. To say, yes, we will definitely do it. It sounds easy, but it is not easy. Please imagine you are a satellite, satellite bad business company, a CEO. Your runway will be next one year. Someone may ask you, are you going to launch hundreds of satellites next year? You have to, you have to say, yes, we will launch satellites next year. But you are not securing the runway. You are not securing the money to run your company next year. Imagine you are a CEO of rocket company. After explosion, rocket explosion, you have to say, you will definitely bring people to the moon. In my case, it's a bit easier. We are providing a communication facilities. It's called the ground station. One of our customers says they want to have a ground station in Gabon, West Africa. Okay, we will provide a ground station in Gabon, definitely. Space business is hard because that requires a longer time and a lot of money to build a product. That's a famous joke. To start a space business, you need to be a billion and a half. And also, there is a lot of evidence uh, to say space business is hard. It is hard to promise something that is something unlikely to achieve. Space history shows that a lot of evidence. So, for example, space shuttle was a proven uh, vehicle to the space when it flew for the first time in 1981, but now it has retired. The International Space Station that was supposed to be a symbolize, uh, to symbolize a peaceful space collaboration, it will be retired in a few years. People watched the upper level moon landing, those people may expect it to see moon base in a decade or so. In reality, no one landed on the moon since 1975. Space business is challenging. We need to overcome this. We need to believe in strongly in order to achieve something. We need to believe making something impossible possible. I'm not talking about something miracle power of imagination. To make something impossible possible, we need to see a clear path. In other words, we need to have a plan. Detailed milestones, action items, timeline, budget, resource allocation, discouragement. Think about how you can make this real. Let's practice. So how we can make a ground station on the moon? We need some billionaire says they will go to the moon in 2023. How we can build a moon to communicate with the moon travel vehicle? First, I need, we need to know radio space and the communication protocols uh, which is uh, moon people use. So we may need to ask SpaceX those information. Once all the technical information is finalized, next step will be how to figure out how to build a ground station. So there are some companies who can make components of ground station. So let's conduct them. We also need to secure our funding. We need to secure budget. But myself, InfoStella does not have enough money to build a ground station on the moon. So we need an investor. So let's make a business plan to show them. It is easy to say this space business is hard because that takes longer time and that takes a lot of time. Uh, 
uh, not only code space uh, industrial space business. People tend to behave in the same way. Please think about it. You say it. I don't think it's possible to get a job this company at this company because my grades are not good enough. Or I can't finish this report by this week because I'm so busy uh, for other stuff. It is, it is not possible to start a company by myself because my family may against it. People, including me, tend to get caught up in negative elements. Fear of failure catches us quickly, leading, leading us to stop to thinking, uh, to stop thinking and moving. But that makes that does not make the situation better. We need to stop focus negative part. We need to stop thinking how difficult it is and the fear to not achieving it. Stop saying it isn't it isn't possible because instead start saying it is possible if we have this plan. These are the most plus. You can use this in many occasions, not only for space. With this class, you can do a lot of things. You can be anything. You can have a team that work with you. If you challenge something with a big or small, you need a support from someone else. You can't do it by yourself. So, find the people and take care of those people. And then those people understand you and be willing to help you. With many people's support, you can make something impossible possible. So, you may even reach the moon.